Okay, solving right triangles using trig functions. So let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. So a couple things you need to notice. Remember, angles, you use capital letters, and side lengths, you use lowercase letters. So there's that. That's actually pretty important as you go through upper division math to use correct math notation. And notice what I did over here. I'm listing what I know, and I highlighted in yellow, and then I've also listed things that I need to find. And they're not really in that. You could also do a column. You could put everything you know in one column and everything you need to find in another column. I organized it by all three angles and all three sides, and I went ahead and highlighted. So now you're going to use trig ratios or trig functions to find the missing pieces. Well, we know that this angle is 90 degrees. We don't know the other two angles. So I'm going to start with this missing side right here. Notice this side's the hypotenuse. So we know that 4 squared subtract one of the other sides, which is 2 squared, will give you the third side squared. So 4 squared is 16, subtract 4 is equal to a squared. Well, 12 is the same thing as 4 times 3 is equal to a squared. And then when we take the square root of both sides, look at how handy that is. The square root of 4 is 2. So I know that this side is going to be and remember, when you take the square root, there's both a positive and negative version. But since we're talking about a length, we can't have a negative length. So I know that side A is 2 root 3 units. So now we have to find the measure of angle A. And then remember, uh, using the triangle sum theorem, that angle A plus angle B plus angle C all adds up to 180 degrees. Well, we know this is 90. So as soon as we find one of these others, we can just do 180, subtract 90, subtract the next one to figure out uh, the third one. We don't have to do this next piece twice. OK, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and try to find this angle. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. So let's see. Oh, let we know the opposite. The perspective of angle B right here. This side is opposite. This side is hypotenuse. So that's the sine. So I'm going to say the sine of angle B is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of B is equal to 1 half. And this is where you have to use that inverse uh, sine function. So we're going to take the arc sine or the inverse sine of both sides. That cancels that. That leaves angle B. And what you have to type into your calculator is second sine. It gives you a left parentheses. You do 1 divided by 2, right parentheses. So let's go ahead and do that. So sine, whoops, second sine of 1 divided 2, or you could do 0.5. Oh, and we need, I need to change. Make sure you're, if you're looking for degrees, make sure you have it in degree mode. We've got 30 degrees. So the measure of angle B is 30 degrees. Well, 180 subtract 90 subtract 30 should give us 60 degrees. And that makes sense because 30 plus 60 equals 90. 90 plus 90 equals 180. All right, let's come over here. In each problem, angle C is a right angle. Solve each triangle. OK, so we're doing the same thing. But this time, it doesn't give us a diagram. So your first step, this is what I'm going to expect to see on your paper, is draw a diagram. 
And for those of you that say, no, I can do all that in my head, okay. But I, to give you a grade, I need to see the diagram. All right, and then notice what I've done again. I've drawn a diagram, and look it. Side B is longer than side C, so I drew a triangle to reflect that. Not that it's in the correct proportion, but side A is shorter than side B. And I wrote all that stuff down. So let's see. Oh, this one's going to be easy because here's a side, here's a side. So 7 squared plus 2 squared gives you the hypotenuse. So here's the hypotenuse, or side C, squared. So 49 plus 4 is equal to C squared. So the square root of 53 And then when you take the square root of 53, so the exact answer is the square root of 53. When you plug it into your calculator, you get about, about 7.3 units. So uh, side C is about 7.3 units. All right, so now we just have to decide which angle we're going to try to solve. And... We'll find A this time, and notice what we have. We have, if we're looking from the viewpoint of angle A, we have the opposite side and we have the adjacent side. Well, that's a tangent function. So tangent of angle A is 2 over 7. This is opposite over adjacent. And we're just going to take the arc tangent, or inverse tangent of both sides, that cancels that out. So A is equal, and you're going to type in second tangent, 2 divide 7. So make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So second tangent, 2 divide 7, write parentheses. And A is equal, so the measure of angle A is about... 15.9 degrees. So about, I'm putting the crooked 15.9 degrees. And then I'm going to take 180, subtract 90, subtract 15.9 degrees. And that gives us about 74.1 degrees. All right, that's it for this one.